Hello, Joyce and Anthony aka JJ here with this, I guess, short series I'm making, Learning Blender 2D. First part will be drawing planes. So this is a short scene that I made just to show you, moving it around. So if you open up just a regular blank 2D scene, you'll notice that the default drawing plane is the front. So by clicking the camera button, you can get out of camera view. And for me, when I get a blank scene, I automatically, I go to the overlays and I add my X and Y axis, just so you know, I don't get confused. And then I also go down and I add the, um, the grid, I guess like the canvas grid. That just helps me when I'm drawing. The top, you can adjust, adjust the stroke placement. We'll get into that a little bit later. And then you can also draw to the right, which is the drawing planes, which we're going to get into. There's five different options, view, front, side, top, and cursor. So the front is the default. The front is determined by the X and Z axis. The view, I guess like it, it follows you and the strokes are drawn with the current 3D viewport orientation. The next plane option is the side and the strokes are drawn on the plane determined by the Y and Z axis. And I'm gonna change from the origin to the 3D cursor just to show you guys because I don't want it to get all the squibbly lines to get you know all mushed together. So the origin is where the X and Y meet, like with that dot. So I just used the 3D cursor and I moved it and of course the plane follows wherever the 3D cursor if you have that option on. I moved my 3D cursor to the side and then I'm using the top and the strokes are drawn on the plane determined by the X and Y axis. I think the top plane is really great if you're, I guess, like trying to draw a road. That's what I'm doing right now. It looks like it's going like straight up, but it's not. I'm gonna move it around to show you. It's flat and it looks like a, like a road. And finally, the cursor, the strokes are drawn with the current 3D cursor orientation. So it's, it's similar to view, but whereas view is by the 3D viewport orientation, the 3D cursor, I mean the cursor, excuse me, is completely determined by where you put your 3D cursor and the angle. So you see that my angle was kind of like at a what, 15 degree angle. So now my stroke will be, my stroke will follow the cursor. I know this video is about drawing planes, but stroke placement is also important. So the default is origin. We played around with 3D cursor and now I want to go to the surface. So for the surface, you need an actual surface. So I added a cube to play around with. When you click on the surface placement, you're going to get this little number at the bottom and I'll explain that in a second. So here's my cube and I'm going to draw on it. So if I move my, um, to the side, you're going to see it's actually quite a distance away from the cube. And that's what that, where this number comes in the 0 0.150. So it's like 1.50 away from the cube. I want it to stick to it. Well, not completely stick, but I, I'll put it like a, 0 0.010 so it's going to be really close so just to keep that in mind when you're using the stroke placement that number at the bottom will let you know how far away the stroke is from the mesh and the last placement option is the stroke and the strokes will stick to other strokes so it's kind of similar to the surface placement so I hope you learned more about the drawing planes and the placement options. I think regardless if you're using 2D or 3D, it's really important to know where your strokes are or your objects, your meshes, because it, it makes a difference.
with your end result. This is Joyce and Anthony, aka JJ. Until next time.